and welcome back to uh, Evil's Comics. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review on uh, Stray Dogs from Image Comics. It's done by Tony uh, Flex, I think is how you pronounce the writer's name. Artist would be Trish Forrester and Brad Simpson on colors. Um, I love this comic. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't even grab this comic. It sat on at my comic book shop for like I want to say like two, three weeks, and I had seen some reviews from some other people, not really reviews, but people just talking about it, and uh, so I went ahead and picked it up. I liked um, the art on it that they showcased on the cover and on the back cover. I thought it was really cool. Um, what what it is, it's, a, it's really a horror comic, but so far it's kind of more of a PG, uh, like horror film if you <laughs> but it's a comic um the premise of it it sets up two facts on the very first page between a dog owner and a veterinarian and the dog owner is taking her dog to the vet and uh you know in the process of waiting in the vet and it's all these different speech bubbles but the main facts is that they it tells you two facts about, you know, in this world. And it says, uh, it says the first fact is it's not possible for dogs to hate their owners or their masters or their person. Um, that's the first thing that the book wants you to remember is that, that it's just a known fact that dogs can't hate their owner or master. And the second thing it wants to to lay in fact is dogs uh, short-term memory it says that dogs remember command sleep uh, like where they sleep it remembers commands they remember you but when it comes to their short-term memory as far as like what happened last week or events that happened like a couple weeks ago they're not so great at so the whole premise of the story is about <clears throat> this dog right here and her name is Sophie and it starts out and it shows you moments with uh, her and her, you know, going through the events, you know, with the vet. And the next thing we see is she's being brought in as a rescue dog to this home that already has a lot of different dogs. And um, like I said, it's the art. The art was one of the things that appealed to me. I mean, it, it looks like a Disney. And they, they even kind of throw it in there kind of like that because if you read from... Brian Michael Bendis, who's a famous writer and comic book creator and all kind of stuff, especially with DC, uh, says, my favorite thing about comics is when someone shows you something you didn't know you needed, the secret life of pets meets seven. Yes, please. Welcome to Stray Dogs. I was blown away. Um, so it's kind of like that lady in the tramp meets, you know, horror. Because basically... Sophie's going to make it into this house as a rescue dog. Now, we saw she had a master, but for some reason, this is events in the future, and she's being rescued. She's being brought into this, this house, and um, as the comic gets going, she's meeting all these other dogs. You kind of get this vibe that they're all going to be mean to her. It's not even like that. They're all nice and welcoming, and they can't go over how friendly and, and nice their owner is. And uh, somewhere eventually, the, the whole comic, she's kind of shivering and more like a nervous thing. And uh, eventually, uh, one of the other dogs, you know, notices that she's been shivering the whole time. And he's like, hey, there's like a, a scarf or something over in the corner. And she, you know, she goes to smell on the scarf. And as you can see right here, she has like a flashback all of a sudden from the smell of the scarf. And she remembers, like, her owner and what happened to her owner. And it just shows, like, moments of somebody creeping into their apartment when they were asleep. And it kind of looks like somebody was strangling her owner with this handkerchief. So at this moment, the rest of the comic is the dog trying to convince the other dogs, Hey, I, I don't belong here, you know. I I'm supposed to be somewhere else. I had another master. I don't even know why I'm here. And that's kind of where they leave you off at the first issue. The second issue... It continues the same trope because now the dog is remembering her owner more and more and more. It's not a short-term memory thing. She's remembering her owner. And she's trying to convince the other dogs. And in this issue, you get like a nice little cutout of all the dogs and their names. We got 
Sophie, Rusty, Earl, Roxanne, Aldo, Killer, Henry, Other Henry, Gucci, Victor, Imogene, and now Sophie. And it's going through, and it's just, it's still showcasing you that the owner, as far as we can tell, he looks like a hunter, because he's got hunteress stuff in his house, guns, and, but I mean, as far as him being a human, all they've shown us so far is that he goes to work, he seems like a nice guy, he comes home, he, you know, walks the dogs, he feeds them, he plays with them, I mean, um, there is one room in the house that is supposedly denied to the dogs, he keeps locked, and it kind of goes more into this. So this episode, you know, she's, Sophie's going back and now she's kind of got another one of the dogs that's semi-convinced and they're going through most of this comic just on a detective type of, um, you know, spook, trying to see if they can cut, uncover anything. Um, eventually as it goes through, you know, as the, they're doing their little detective thing, um, eventually I think they, um. Uh, it's not even the two dogs that are looking for, but through the detective thing, they eventually find something that one of the other dogs, you know, remembers, and she has a flashback. Hey, I had another owner, and, and man, uh, you know, the events of how that owner ended looked like she, he was murdered or she was murdered. Um, it's the third issue, and now we're going into this, and it's, it's the three dogs that are now convinced that... Uh, you know, and they did show, I think, in the second issue, at the end of the second issue, where the dog, one of the dogs, um, you know, he was messing with that room, and I think he got locked in there or something like that, and um, the owner does find out, and he reprimands the dog, but I mean, it's nothing, you know, out of the ordinary for a pet owner. Um, and this one, they're still, and this is another cool thing, the first two issues, those are the regular covers, this is a variant cover, and, the, and I think for all three of these, they came out with one different variant, it was a whole horror ama homage this is supposed to be like annabelle um i wasn't able to get the other two variants they, they were that was just what they had when i picked them up um but this one is just going into more detective work and they're starting they you know now they're going under the house looking for different stuff um as they're going through one of the other dogs it's kind of the same thing where he smells something and he starts remembering and it's a dalmatian and he remembers you know he was a you know, part of a fireman crew, and with that recollection, he starts remembering that, hey, there's, on the phones, there's these 911 buttons, and humans, you know, you don't even need to talk, you know, they, they come because you activated the button, and he's like, all we gotta do is, you know, uh, activate the button, well, they do activate the button in the phone, on the phone, and someone does start talking, and the, and the dogs are, are trying to talk to him, and they're bark, 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 and it's just, you know, it's not working. And eventually the owner does, you know, um, catch the dogs in the act. And it's another reprimand. And this one, it goes like full, I mean, it goes from a PG, third, you know, PG comic book to, I wouldn't say rated R. There's nothing shown. But one of the dogs does seem to meet an unmisely end. You know, I mean, I'm not going to reveal which one, but you can see the bang. You know, it kind of seemed like the owner took the dog around shed and you know put a bullet in his head and i just want to show this out this isn't a, a a book about this trying to be mean on dogs or anything like that this is a dog by dog this is written drawn and everything part of it is it's by dog lovers these are all like their dogs and f people that have sent in there it, it's it's not only like dog lovers but they actually went and supposedly dealt in science and this and that so they weren't just writing a whole bunch of mess but overall, so far, the story is amazing. I mean, each issue keeps surprising me, especially the third issue. I mean, it almost got me to cry, and I've never had a comic book been able to say that. I have with books, but I've never been able to say that about a comic book. I've never, I've never gotten scared. Now, I have had comics make me laugh, and I have had some comics get me to an almost tense, you know, mood. Um... I've never had a comic make me cry. This one was almost there, man, because the character development, the pacing, and everything is right where you want it to be to get it to that emotion level to get you there. If they would have had, like, two more pages, they might have got a tear out of me. Um, I do... I think this already has been picked up by Netflix, and it is becoming a show. I'm pretty sure they'll do an animated version of that show, but, I mean... The art in this in this book is just overall amazing. 
The story is really, really good. Um, I started with this comic book to review because most people just know comic books to be superhero books. Um, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of comic books out there that are not superhero related at all. We have horror books, there's romance. I mean, everybody knows or should know about Archie and Jughead. I like strictly comedy, slapstick comic books. There's all kind of stuff. But right now, because comic books are popping, there is a lot of horror titles out there. I'm going to start doing these reviews where I pick a random comic that's kind of... This one was a short review, only three issues, and the fourth one is coming out like uh, May 12th, next week, I think. Um, Stray Dogs. If you haven't read it, check it out. See what you think about it. Um, if you have read it, you know, you know, tell me what you thought about it. Um, if not, thank you for watching. Um, I'd love a like, a subscribe, you know. If not, thanks for watching. You have a good day.